All right. Asante sana. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, uh, thank you for Fred for holding it down on the other side. Uh, today, of course, it's Thursday. When you start the Siku ya Chakula and Innovations. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We have an exciting show for you. Remember the hashtag to use is for breakfast. As always, uh, Curtis of Gong Hills Hotel, we have a question and they're giving away a free lunch, yes? Yes. Uh, good morning, viewers. I'm Chef William from Gong Hills Hotel. Chef Willie. Yes. Uh, we are along Gong Road next to Chumi Hyper and at Ngong Hills we are at Foster Hotel uh, with 110 rooms. So viewers don't go away. After this we are going to ask you a question yes. and if you get it right you will win a lunch for two at Ngong Hills Hotel. So welcome and don't go away. Right. So of course uh, keep it uh, locked right here. We also have very interesting innovation that we're going to be uh, talking about as well and uh, we'll get to know about that in a short while but for now we want to get right into it remember hashtag is for breakfast and like we say pay attention to everything every detail so in another talk anywhere all right so what are we making today okay today we are going to make a club sandwich yes so before we start i'll take our viewers through what we are going to prepare this is our bread uh, this is a toasted bread you can just make, you can use any bread, brown bread or white bread. This is our ingredients. These are our onions, uh, rings, cucumber, we have cheddar cheese, we have lettuce, we have chicken, marinated chicken. Yes, we have tomato, we have bacon, and we have an egg. So I'm going to start with the chicken. Chicken, the marinated chicken. What was used to marinate it? How long did it marinate? This is to uh, um, marinate overnight. This ha it has ginger, garlic, and fresh herbs like uh, uh, mint and so on. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to start with chicken. Just going to fry it there. Kakuko pala ndani unavi ona mtazamaji na it is sizzling. Getting ready. Sizzle, 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 pala. No easy day for you. Kidogo tu. Kidogo tu, kidogo tu. Si zana, kidogo, kidogo tu. Yeah, it doesn't take too long to, just uh, three minutes it will be okay, yeah? If you can see it is turning golden brown, yeah? Yes. Just like that. And uh, th this club sandwich, we are going to make it in layers. Mm -hmm. So we arrange these things in layers, yeah? I love you at the end, we're going to go one big happy bite. No? Sean, we're going to put layers, and we're going to put it in layers. 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 Yes, like that. Uh, yes, you can see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's already turning. Yes, it's already turning. Then this one is ready. Yeah. It's already ready. It doesn't take too long to prepare, yeah? So you put it aside first. And then we make bacon. Now next is bacon. So the chicken is ready. So this is just bacon in a coward. In a clear coward. Yes. So kidogo. And then uh, on our bread, uh, you can use mayo mm -hmm. or butter. You can choose any. Mm -hmm. So to me, I'm going to use mayo. Mm -hmm. This is for this is for the, uh, for the spread. Okay. Yes. So we can spread mayo or mayo. Kidogo, kidogo. Yes. At the base, you just spread one piece. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. But the rest, you you you'll spread both sides. Mm -hmm. Yes. You want bacon in Kosa, huh? Bacon. Hapo sasa, you turn it. Kidogo tu. Hapo kidogo. Kidogo. Why a band them bacon things are going? We're gonna do it big up in here. But to our, to our, to our brothers, uh, to our Muslim brothers, uh, you can use any tool for... No, yeah, that's a secret. Yes, it yeah. must be okay. the bacon. Yes. So, bacon is ready. Bacon page ready. This is a very interesting mili harakaraka ya kutengneza. So ni mzuri sana. Ndo watu wakule harakaraka. Usumize tumbo sana. Ngoja ngoja. Umila tumbo. So I'm going to start with lettuce. Yes. So you... Unawekalea lettuce. Yes. Lettuce. Yes. 
the lettuce he does that. This is our rings. Our rings of onions. Yes. Rings of onions you can lick. Yes. And then you start with the chicken. And then like this. very <laughs> tasty, juicy. You take uh, this more mayo. Some more mayo. Yes. Like this. Like this. We turn it both sides. Turn it both sides. Yeah, man. Make sure everything is turned. Turn it up. We need to like it there. Yes. And then we put cucumber. Show, show, man. Yes. Ivo, Ivo, Tum, Dogum, Dogo. And then now you can put bacon. Our bacon then. So the first layer is cuckoo. Kish, have a toy. Kelly, bacon. And then you go Hi. Father God. Yes. Jesus. Ivo, Ivo. And then, Tuna and Lea. Tuna and Lea, Tuna. Lea and Lea. Yes. Tuna Zidi Shukwa and Lea. Baru Tuna and Lea. Yes. Hatu. Hatu. Hatu Ogo Pisisi. Kifika Mama Akula, Mama Ankuli. Yes. Wale pole tu. Sake mingi. Sidaga. And then we arrange tomato. Tomato sasa. Different layers. The final product must be something na kufura here. Yes. And then uh, put our cheese. Cheese on top. This is uh, what kind of cheese? This is cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Yes. And then we do it like that. And then we close with that. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. So finish with lettuce. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mdogo mdogo. Just like that. And then now we are finishing now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Layer Misha. Layer to Shafunga. Shafunga. Yes. Just like that. And then we close it here. Yeah? Yeah, it's a big thing. I'm a big camera notorious. Look at that. Look at the size of the power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we shape it. Mm -hmm. That as in a question to know, Jim in a ship, you in a Kamzuri. Got a two poor poor and I've got a two this money too. Yes, and then we can use our toothpick here yeah? mm -hmm. for holding it here. Is we can Kanguka? Yes. Si llega nunca a ataque de ojo. Con el sistema con las enzimas, yo si no yo hago, te hago una en la vida. Musisi, musisi. Yes. So, this is our club sandwich. Una hora layers. Look at the layers. Take your time. Chunguza. Manaka uta kula. Yo no uso tu mole la macho. And look at it. Yes, we have bacon. We have cheddar cheese. So tonight we go sunning dog and dog. No, 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 no. Sandwich is ready, and you can serve with either French fries, roast potatoes, or sauteed potatoes. Yes. So our our club sandwich it's ready. Yes, maybe you can try it. Yes, yes. Nothing but exactly. Yes, you know. Ito kazi ni iko apa hivi? Kwa ni job description. Kuna official six twenty meters na. Yes. So ni taonya. So na shika ni you know. Wendo mnye ni kushiki. Yes. So na wangalia truth because siji uka uka kudunga mdo. So na ni jeans ni biona ni utarati buflani. Na kuna wazo flani na hitajika. Kipawa kidogo, tukipawa chakula. Yes. Lazima iwe. Hama lazima ubaiti yote. Yes. Jesus. Aya. Aya. Hmm. Naisiki aje. Tutpiki nipo minizia. Ha 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 ha. Karibu ni kula tutpiki. Mwata ni itoe niweka kando. Ah, round two. Ini run off. Tu mena run off sasa. Ini run off. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Ina wa za. Hmm. Yes. Iko tu. 
you go sir you go nani <laughs> of course we're going to come back and eat some more yes. with chef willie but we have a question that we're going to be asking in a short while yes. and i guess i just ask you so you mentioned you had not talk about going to hotel so we need to get a free uh lunch at Gong Hills Hotel. You have to answer this question. How many rooms are there at Gong Hills Hotel? How many rooms are there at Gong Hills Hotel? The first person to give me that answer, I'll be checking the hashtag for breakfast. Give me the right answer, I'll pick you. Now turn a kudish. Yes. Chef Willie, you don't know if it's a thing later. Yes, I'll take good help you. Yes. I'm going to take good help you. Yes. I'm going to take good help you. Yes. I'm going to take good help you. Okay, wait, do you have any? Uh, intruder alert! Intruder alert! <laughs> We're watching you live on TV. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you just do this to God? <laughs> Chef! Yes. Chef William! Yes. Number four, son. Yes. Chef Queen Angie. <laughs> oh my, oh my. How convenient, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, yes. we refuse to have you eat alone. Go down, go down, go down. Well, I feel like Jalas and I are right there on Hot 96 FM right now. Mm -hmm. We've been here since 4 a.m. Me too. We've been here. Yeah, yeah, but you have privileged. Some of we, we've been here. Oh, we've been here since 4 a.m. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Oh my. Well, it's Jalas and Jeff. All oh, right. Somebody say, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. So listen, Chef. Yeah. Can we borrow your sandwich for a moment? No, the, this is the, you got to ask the owner. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, oh, you bit it. Yeah. You show my I had to make sure that you're okay. me on it. I you to a poison. Oh. Okay, good luck with Saudi Arabia, the brand. Can you why do you want to talk a state house? Yeah, man. You have to sample. Yeah, yeah sample before the, for the bar. You know what it is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, what is this? A BLT or what is this? This is crab sandwich. It gets made with chicken, bacon, and cheddar cheese with vegetables. Someone yeah. say smoking. <laughs> Thank you, Willis. Okay, you can have your right, order. Yes, yes, yes. Last and I will share one. Give me a plate. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, sorry. Who else did you go here, Jeff? Well, the fruits is good to be healthy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, well, it's Banner. Come on. We've, we've been here since 4. JKL. And there's some juice? Cheese. Cocktail juice. Cocktail juice. <laughs> Any alcohol? No, no. Alcohol. It's free from alcohol. Good. It's good, it's good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what else? What else? Yeah, it's good. So, gonna queen cakes. Queen cakes. Uh, why queen? Yeah? No, I have king cake. <laughs> I'm a coin angle cake. A coin age cake. Coin age. The coin age cake. <laughs> Are you mad? Uh, one question, Jeff, yeah, before you go. Are you mad? <laughs> Thank you, Chef. <laughs> welcome. And, and welcome to Gong Hill, sir. We are all on Gong Road, and that's to Chong Hop Hypo. Okay, welcome. So there you go. Uh, our intruder has finally left. He's living a happy man. <laughs> so, of course, you can catch them. But from 9 o'clock, we will tune in to Jeff and Jela. So, actually, Chef, I know you're coming back to make. What are we making when you come back? We are, we are going to make uh, fish fingers. Fingers. All right. So now I want to cross on over of this side. You know, we told you Thursday it's all about um, innovations, it's innovation in cooking, which means you make different things and make them healthy. But there's also innovation uh, in technology, and uh, I want to cross over and now talk to this bright gentleman over here. And I guess I'll cross over and uh, stand right here. As you can see, there is a, a, a robot. Some would call it contraption. <laughs> But there's a, a mechanized uh, robot here. Well, I want you just to introduce yourself and uh, the rest of the team as well and tell us what exactly we are looking at and, and what, what exactly the robot does. I'm uh, Winston Atenya from Nairobi Technical, uh, Electrical Engineering Department. I've come with uh, two students and a colleague. They will introduce themselves. This is a robot which basically is showing automation and this is in respect to the voting that you are going to experience in August. We are looking at how we can make it more efficient and, you know, at least faster than it is. Of course, this is just basic, but we'll move to the next level because we are still developing this. Mm -hmm. And we expect that uh, as we do the demo, people get to appreciate that automation is not just about how a car... You know, many, many people know it about their cars, yes. but it can... Automatic car. Automatic car. But a robot will definitely do for you a lot, mm -hmm. much more than you expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, so allow the team also to introduce themselves briefly. 
Okay, my name is Michael Masagate Jordan, and I'm, I'm a student at Nairobi Technical. I was in the part of the team that built the robots. Yes, and we're glad to be here. Wagwan. <laughs> okay, my name is John Shalom Dini. I'm also in Nairobi Technical. I'm taking the electronics, specializing in telecommunication. I was in the team that made the robots, and we are trying to mimic the elections, and I'm very happy about it. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. My name is Elfas Carter. I'm the lead instructor in the team that came up with the robot and the whole idea of robotics technology in the school. Yeah, I'm um, an electronics yeah, teacher. Yeah. Right, so what made you guys, uh, what the last, what made you guys come up with uh, this particular uh, invention? Okay, the, it was a requirement by the government of Kenya as given to into institution to come up with a robot that can mimic voting. So it was, it was a competition. So we built this robot to perform in the competition. Mm -hmm. yes. so what, does, what does it uh, do? What are we about to see? Uh, what, what the robot will do is that it will make some turns in the field. It will try to pick some ballot papers. It will also pass through the verification center. It will also pass through the marking where you will do your secret marking for the governor. It can also mark for the president where nobody sees you and then it proceeds to cast the votes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So I guess what we're going to do is you'll, uh, you'll be walking us through uh, what exactly will be going on. So now maybe you can go ahead and uh, uh, switch it on and then because we have what we have here uh, is like a field and so there are different designated points. This is like a mock uh, uh, center of polling center. So we are going to be walked through exactly what will be going on as the robot uh, proceeds. So you'll be seeing it on your screens and we'll have a commentary by our good friend right here. Alright. So what's happening? The robot now is moving from the start point coming to where the ballots are where it will pick the ballots and uh, we, it has to follow a certain structured grid which is the, we are calling the play field that is why you see it is moving in a very systematic way mm -hmm. and you know it is using artificial intelligence okay. yeah, which is a program inside it so it moves, uh, we, it moves carefully up to where we have the what we are calling the ballot so that's now what is going to uh, pick now is the ballot box what it is going to pick is the ballot box okay so it goes, supposed to pick it, it has, that is a bit bigger, but supposed to pick it then from there, move, okay, then it's, so it was supposed to be three, so it would pick the first one for the senator, mm -hmm. then the second one for the, for the governor, okay, okay, yeah, place it, it's supposed to place on top, then come pick for the president, Speaking, uh, the different, so ideally what will be there is the different boxes for the different candidates. Then from there it comes, then it will place at the, the boxes now to the, the ballots in the box, after they have been put in the boxes, it places at a strategic point, where then now later on the counting will be done. Okay, so after it, so after it picks it moves to, ideally what would this side be? So this side now we, after it picks, you know, normally after the voting has been, uh, after people have cast their votes, mm -hmm. okay, the boxes are picked, then new fresh ones are put because when they are filled up, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. So that and the process goes on until when everybody has voted. So it will place... Uh, it's unloading over there, okay. So it will then place the... It's unloading all the boxes, right? Yeah. All right. Then from there it has to then later on go and pack. But it will have to go through that permanently until when the process is over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after this, so it's done, it goes back to park. So ideally, uh, this is helping in the, the actual voting, uh, or the uh, rather, we don't, we don't do the choice for you. Yeah, that one we have to be very clear. We don't do the, 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 the choice. You do the choice. Ours is to, 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 to make the, 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 the whole process easy. Okay, yeah, ours is to make the whole process easy. Yeah. So after it does all this, it goes back to park, and it waits. Then now the arrow comes in with his team to do the counting mm -hmm. yeah so it is a solution for for who it is a solution for making sure that the processes at the polling station are made easier yeah not in terms of you voting mm -hmm. who you choose but just the process at the polling station yeah 
So ideally, so after it's done all this, so ideally this is uh, would it be this size or when you know the big one is made? Now, this is a prototype. We are expecting that uh, as we are we, we we continue advancing, we are able to make something that then practically can encompass the the dynamics that go with uh, uh, our, an actual situation where now you have uh, a polling station and this is re is real happening and then that people are voting the, the boxes are uh, because some of the at times you see when the, 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 the process is on after the, the the ballots have been cast and then people are carrying those boxes there's a lot of suspicion people are like doesn't know you it will just carry deposit carry deposit yeah right and and so you're the, you're the lead uh, that helping in in this and uh, so how long did it take to put this together uh, it's uh, quite cumbersome project and quite cumbersome idea because uh, what you're seeing is artificial intelligence in action in Kenya we try to look the minutes we try to look at station but we don't too much rely on borrowing technology talk of countries like Japan where we have uh, artificial robots serving in restaurants we need a station whereby our students can narrow down to their own country and come up with technical skills which we build from our own home and we come up with our own automated ideas automated uh, skills so that we don't just talk of robotics as a game robotics as a competition but robotics as an application technology whereby we can have automated industries we can have automated systems like including medical services whereby we are talking of automation apply ro robots talking of voting we have artificial machines that can do with all these ideas of uh, voting um, mischiefs because that's a machine intelligence enough to do everything without being interfered so uh, during the process of building actually because uh, it's not me who has to enjoy everything. I had my two students who I made sure that they come out of their college, they come out of the school with the ideas and skills that they go to place out there in the industry because we are talking of a vision 2030 whereby we have our own technology. We have everything in our own country, a developed Kenya, which is dependent on its own. So I guess that is how the whole idea of having a technology that impresses robotic systems, a technology that impresses creative ideas and skills is so key and important in our education system. I guess doing a theoretical learning is the best thing. Having learning whereby practical and hands-on skill is the best. So it is quite a good thing and uh, development requires funding and the funding was from the ministry, uh, Ministry of Education under the TVET program, TVET that is technical, vocational and education training. So I actually can say that the government has done its best to see us reaching this far and uh, that's how we are able to be here and that's how we are able to enjoy the entire innovation process in Kenya. Okay, so I guess that's, uh, it's continuing the process there, we have worked with it, we have worked through it as well. I just want to also talk to you as uh, the part of the team that developed it. Um, how long, uh, I mean, how, what was the process like for you and to finally get to this point where you're seeing it's actually running? Um, how was the process? Because I'm sure for this to happen there was a lot of coding and all that. And, uh, you have to be very bright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The process is, is quite tiresome, but uh, we had to come up with the circuits that will enable this, this machine to, con to communicate with a programming machine so that we enter the codes for the machine to work as it was specified to do. But for the time being, you can also program it to do other things. So, yeah, we try to come up with uh, a circuit like uh, motors. We have the servo motors that will control the movement of the arm up, down and tilting. We also have the, the, we have the, the Duino the green on cable that will enable, enable us to communicate with the, the programming machine. We also have the, those DC motors that will run the wheels. In fact, they are four, so it is an automatic four-wheel drive. Yeah, those motors, we connected them and we made sure that it can move and it can be programmed to do different things. Yeah.
Actually, that's what I wanted to uh, find out if you can just move to the gentleman, even as you hold it, just so that so, so, so that people can s see exactly what uh, it comprises of as well. So maybe you can walk us through uh, part of the design and what uh, it is all about. Okay, this is the servo. For this is the servo. It has three motors for picking, for tilting, and uh, for panning. And then here we have the control circuit. On top of it, of the this is the microprocessor. The microprocessor, the Arduino circuit is here. So all the code you upload it in the microprocessor. And then this is the control circuit. And then we have here speed controllers. And then down here we have sensors. We have infrared light and infrared sensors to help, to help the robot to maintain in the grid. Mm -hmm. Then we have four motors to propel the robot. We have two batteries, one to power the microprocessor, another battery to power the, the robot. Mm -hmm. So that is the basic construction of it. And here we have a light sensor to adjust to, for the condition, for the lighting condition, mm -hmm. because it, it uses infrared. So when the light is too much, to reduce uh, the intensity of light. When the light is too, too low, we increase the in intensity so it, it can perform perfectly. Mm -hmm. So that's the basic construction of the robot. So quite an a, a elaborate uh, process as well. And maybe uh, you can also tell us some of the, maybe the other challenges in, in this song. What are the challenges? Uh -huh. challenges. Uh, one, there's the issue of uh, the parts you need. At times uh, you design something and what do you find? That part is not available in Kenya. You go online, the internet. Secondly, there is the level of technology for us in the colleges because uh, at times we, are, we, we have, we have a, our level is up to a certain point. So we have to go out of the way to get more skills on our own. So we are asking the government to put in more emphasis in allowing us to acquire more, more uh, skills, technical skills, in the area of automation. And then, of course, there is the funding. Uh, to build this robot is not easy. You, you require at least 100,000. Now, going by the, the, the economics of scale in institutions, we and in schools are grappling with trying to meet other challenges, it becomes very difficult to buy the parts. But uh, we are thankful to our, our administration in the school our principal, Mr. Frederick Magua, he has uh, played a major role in funding us, supporting us, and we are happy to say that we have come this far. Mm -hmm. We are expecting that next year we should be able to do much better and even uh, register a bigger success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is not only the innovation we are doing, we have other innovations in uh, engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, applied sciences, uh, and, uh, hospitality, and uh, they have uh, performed very well at uh, certain platforms. So the government should really uh, go and down to the colleges and establish a kitty that can then promote innovation. And that innovation is what will drive this economy. Because right now we are talking about digital and youth and innovation. And that is where we should be headed. So that then we can stop talking about people not having jobs stop talking about uh, people uh, in security because when they, they are, the youth are kept busy through such innovations then we shall be heading in the right direction and so uh, apart from uh, you know the, the brilliant minds that also came up with this and the you guiding them through it as well and there are also of course people who want to think about things like patenting and, and stuff and, and things of that design is that also part of what you guide them on yeah yeah that, that, that has been one area where we, we have we have had challenges because we at times go to exhibitions, trade fairs, and we forget that there's an element of patenting. The Chinese come in here, they take photographs of what we've done, and they go make the same, like our Kikoi, Kiondos. So we are also trying very hard to make sure that we sensitize our youth about patenting, so that you then have the property rights over that innovation, then you can start reaping the benefits of it. Because there are so many innovations. A good example is like the Mpesa when you could see it was a young man in college and he had to be paid off, but he's really, really enjoying it. So we are also making sure that we patent whatever we are coming up with so that then it remains uh, 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 the, property of the, the property of that person. Even if there are any other people who are developing it, then that person is able to benefit. Yeah. All right. So, of course, uh, 
uh, that is uh, the interesting views also of there in that regard and uh, so I guess once you where do you want to move and how long will it take you to actualize do you think with the appropriate funding how long would you think it would take for something like this to start working in Kenya for for president okay this has this where the, the ministry of education through the department of uh, technical and vocational uh, training started this program of the robots in 2009 and over the years we've had it uh, being moved on in terms of competition at regional level and at national level the universities have also been brought on board but most of the institutions are the technical training institutions which participate and as we've been growing in this technology basically we are looking at actualizing it now out there it's been a bit difficult because of the cost and then also when we're in our colleges we are focusing on uh, exams you know you also have other activities which you have to take care of because the candidates have to pass the exams so this requires a lot of sacrifice and time but i can confidently tell you that we have actually moved from a very crude level to a level where now we can proudly say that we have an innovation that can do this and we are going to look at what sectors in our economy really we can touch by this uh, innovation and we are saying that uh, the youth are eager they have the energy they are eager given the the right environment and resources we should be able to have them build these things in a large an, uh, um, uh, number yeah right so of course we we come back to get final comments uh, from from the team and everything in a minute but I want to go back pale tuunde chakula juu na sure ada nyinyi mnataka kula so that <laughs> we'll go over to this side I remember the hashtag to use is uh, Power Breakfast uh, right here on Citizen Television I want to join Chef Willi one more time uh, right here because he says sasa ni wakati wa samak na unajua sisi sana sana sisi ni wa samak unapenda samak atuogopi yeah, to go better match to Nakula. Welcome back, our viewers. Uh, I'm going to prepare fish fingers, and we'll serve with garden salad. Yes. Very important. You have to be healthy. Yes. Garden salad, ni muhimu sana. Yes. Kwenye health. Yes, with the tartar sauce. Eh? So this is our fish fingers. It has it has garlic, ginger marjoram fresh dania we blend them together <laughs> this is fresh spices okay 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 spices so blend them together it has soy sauce and it has uh, white pepper so and ground with coconut biscuited coconut this is coconut so yum yum yes so you're just going to dip it to our cooking pan there we go just like that like that you go kidogo 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 kibaba yes so you just turn it pole pole yeah and it has some eggs eggs is helping to not to just to stick the coconut to stick yeah yes so pull the pole to just like that it doesn't take too long to to cook as long as the yeah. oil is hot yes so you can see when it turns like this then you, you know that it's ready yes can see pole pole. so uh, this one is fish finger they are ready they are ready they are already ready <laughs> <laughs> yes just like that yes evil the pole yes and then uh, we're going to arrange it here. On a panga mzuri. Just like that. So it's garden salad and fish fingers. Eh, what's your name? Guy, what can you do? So uh, our fish fingers are ready, mm -hmm. and you serve with the 
tata sauce. Okay. Tata sauce, this is mayo, mm -hmm. it has capers, it has parsley, it has boiled eggs, and then you mix them together with chopped onions mm -hmm. with the white pepper kidogo. Mm -hmm. Then you mix them together, mm -hmm. so you, then you get tata sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, tata sauce. The food is ready. The food is ready. Meanwhile, as it cools, because I'm going to want to sign up. As it cools, I'll see if anybody has got the answer to our question. We're asking you, uh, Chef uh, Willie Hayes from Golden's Hotel. And in the beginning, he gave a short introduction. I want to see if some of you are listening. We asked how many rooms, like he said, does Golden's have. And the winner of that is the one who is going to win a free lunch courtesy of Golden's Hotel. So I'm just going to wait here for uh, Z. And I don't know. Lord, to get some my comments in you, uh, right here on the Power Breakfast Show. Remember, you're using the hashtag Power Breakfast. So once you get on that hashtag and you talk to us, we are able to see. And then the first one that pops up on my page on the timeline when I refresh is Jimmy Kamau at Jimmy Kamau who said Willis Raburu Power Breakfast. Gong has 110 rooms, is that correct? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that is correct. So Mr. Jimmy Kamau, uh, we are going to DM you uh, uh, the details and tell you how you can go ahead and uh, you know get your, 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 your free lunch and uh, give you a contact person who will guide you through the process as well. So make sure you contact and follow. Come on, and follow. So you could DM Motoango. Motoango, don't get your button. You follow. Double tap it. I love to get up. All right, other comments as well came in. Eric Malachan is saying, "Yo, sandwich was even getting and I get crusher. Come and get Jeff." Jeff, I'll cook Jeff, man. I love to Dr. Andrew Sule and I say, "My man, that guy rose when asked whether he's from State House." Jeff, come and get. Um, then also Teddy Otieno, I can master his <laughs> Um And then uh, somebody says they love your new logo. <laughs> so, so I guess comments galore. When I get up, when I get up, we could ten to a party or lunch. <laughs> All right. So of course we 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 appreciate uh, higher mom. We also it's time to taste, and you know, maybe ni mutu mwenye ni kolibro sana. So, then I will invite our people from Nairobi Technical. Do you want me to take a look at the one? What is the one? What is the one? What is the one? What is the my friend. What is the my friend. What is the one? What is Atawanja. Na kuna tata sauce, tata. Na kuna lemon. Kama ni moto. Yeah. Ayo siu moto mmeoka mkono. <laughs> Awaniski, wacha na waleta hapa sasa yetu. So we'll invite our good friends. Kuja pia, wanajua kuna benefits. Huku pa breakfast, sisi ni watu wa, watu wa jabu. Tutaingia hivi. Yes. Eh, these are the free, inaito fringe benefits. <laughs> so what you do utachukua deep alafu unaonja na tuambie kwa aji yes. <laughs> 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 wow it's sweet ama na mnangani mepe ya ama na mnangani wow <laughs> it's so sweet <laughs> and later technology yes <laughs> Besides being top, it's delicious. Thank you. You 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 take it and then deep. You deep. You You it is well dipped in tata sauce. Tata, T A R T A R C Tata. You are ya ta 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 One of the jeans in an avio, you hula mtazamaji wa jua kwamba ni mini representative when you was up a music of a monje. Now, ya kwanya baya. Mungu water to barrack it to sort it. Mm hmm. 
la verga. En la verga. Ah, bien. Me corrió. Thank you very much indeed. Mm-hmm. The coconut is uh, in a side, yes. Yeah. So, when you're serving something like this with um, the garden, this is the garden. Is there any other way you can serve it? Yes, you can serve with the, uh, either chicken. Yes, anything that you wish. Eh? Yes, yeah. So that's how it is. And I want to thank our viewers for giving us their time. And welcome again at Ngong Hits Hotel. Jimmy, welcome. We are along Gong Road next to Uchumi Hyper. Ukifika hapo, tuta take care ya ko. Uki, uliza shifuli. All right, now I want to just give our uh, students here as well just uh, a chance to give their final comments as we wrap up. Maybe what are your final comments to students out there who also want to do such like things or just for encouragement to them? Okay, I'd like to tell them that always work hard. Work hard. Sometimes you may encounter challenges, but work hard. And try to learn. Learn a lot. Every opportunity that, that you get, learn. Get information and try to apply the information to pra practical things. Come up with practical ideas and and will help to improve the economy of our nation. Okay. All right, so of course we want to wrap it up, but just give you 30 seconds, over 15. Okay, I would like to say to the students who are out there, who are lacking somewhere to go and learn, they are welcome to our institution. It is well equipped with the technology, and you will get a lot of experience, and you will pass there with your good grades, and you will do good to the society. Yeah. Right. I want to sign a final comment from Walim. Thank you very much. First of all, I appreciate Citizen TV for giving us this opportunity. And uh, we are telling the public that Nairobi Technical is the place to be. Make it your, your college of choice for training. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for our breakfast. And I think, in short, I can say we as Kenyans, we should be ready to embrace our own technology and ideas. And we are all welcome to Nairobi Technical. It's a place to be. We have what it takes to make so, Right, as you can see, we had a lot of innovation today. But also what they're talking about is that mechanized uh, ballot. So we just like to say, Asante uh, Sana, and we'll see you again here tomorrow. Uh, and also keep talking to us, hashtag Power Breakfast. Later on, of course, Citizen Extra is beginning shortly with Hussein Mohammed. So don't go to fight at Hussein Mohammed G on Twitter, at Citizen TV Kenya, and the hashtag is Citizen Extra. Have yourself a wonderful morning. Successful people look like you, and the great Manchester United. Wagwan. Ha, ha, ha.